Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm recording a puzzle called Map to Nowhere by Sotek. I always look down there because that's where the puzzle name is. Um, so yeah, this is an Arrow Sudoku that has been submitted and been through testing. Um, I've been told it's quite tricky. Sotek always finds tricky, often geometric logic in puzzles. So this will be a bit interesting. But Sotek has been with the channel longer than anyone. My channel is now over three years old. I find this hard to believe, but it is true. So yeah, I've been doing this for over three years. Just insane. Anyway, yeah, because I'm, I'm nearly 1,200 videos. I mean, I'm over 1,200 videos if you include packs and special features and, and all of the Sudoku um, problems and all of that sort of stuff, the Sudoku problem series and everything. But even normal videos, I'm approaching 1,100. It's, it's just crazy. Um, so anyway, map to nowhere by Sotek. So what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then we've got arrows. So digits placed on arrows, the sum of those is placed in the arrow circle. Um, so digits on an arrow must sum to the digit placed in that arrow circle. So whatever this is, the sum of the, the sum of these goes there, basically. Um, I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we've got a lot of three cell arrows where all of the digits see each other. So the minimum I could put into these would be one, two, three. If you add one, two, and three, that's six. So this would have to be six, seven, eight, nine. And the same is true for any arrow where there are three cells that see each other. This can't be a nine. So there has to be a one in one of these two cells. Because if there's no one on an arrow, it can't be a nine because of that. Same here. Um, because if there's no one on an arrow, the minimum is two, three, four. If you add two, three, four, you get to nine, which is the maximum it could be. And this can't be a nine. So there must be a one in one of those two cells. Similarly, there must be a one on this arrow. But I don't know how that's helping me. Must there be a one on one of these? Because the maximum these could be is eight. So if there's no one on these without there being a two, the minimum these could be would be three, four, six, and seven. Three, four, six, and seven would be seven and 13. It'd be 20. I can't get these as high as 20. There is a one on one of these. Now, one can't be there. So the one is in one of those three cells. So... There's no two. The maximum these could be is eight and eight, which is 16. But one, three, four, six. is four to, so one, three, or six, which is the minimum they could be, is 14, isn't it? One, three, four, six is seven plus seven is 16. So these have to be seven or eight because the minimum these could be is if these are both seven. If these were one, three, four, six, I can't put an eight into either of those. So the eight is in one of those two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So if this is an eight, this is an eight, and there's no eight down here. If this is an eight, sorry, if this is an eight, if this is an eight, this is an eight, and there's no eight here. If this is an eight, so if this is, Sorry, if this is an eight, this is an eight, and there's no eight here. So these can't sum to 16. The maximum they can sum to is 15. If this is an eight, this is an eight. Does that mean this can't be an eight? Because if this is an eight, this is an eight, 
and both of those are seven. And these would have to sum to 14. One, three, four, six is 14. Can both of those be seven? If both of these are seven, no, these can't be the same. If this is an eight, this is a seven, this is an eight and this is a seven, but that doesn't work. Because if both of these are seven, where do I put seven in box one? I couldn't put it in any of those cells. I couldn't put it in those cells and you can't put seven on its own arrow. So these can't both be seven. These are a seven, eight pair. And these sum to 15. Now, one, three, four, six. I need to increase one of those digits by one in order to get to the 15 I aim for. Because where I'm at with the minimum digits, one, three, four, six are the minimum because I can't use two and five. So I have to increase one of these digits by one. I can't increase the one by one. I can't use a two. I can't increase the three by one because then I'd have two fours on the arrows. I can't increase the four by one because I'd need this. So these are one, three, four, six. Sorry, one, three, four, seven. And this is a six, eight pair. Now, th there's no one here. The seven goes with the one to make the eight. So one of these is three, four, summing to seven, and one of them is one, seven, making eight. Now there's no one here, so there's no seven here. But if this is an eight, this would be the seven, this would be the eight and there's no eight. So this can't be an eight. So there's one and two down here. But if this was an eight, this would be the seven, this would be the eight, and this would have to be a seven. And that doesn't work either. If this is an eight, this is a seven, this is an eight, and there's no eight in this box. There's no eight here. There's a two on this. But the two isn't there. The two is in one of those two, which means there's a two down here. This is a six, seven, eight triple. So there's no seven there, so there's no one there. This is a six, seven, eight triple. Seven is in one of those two. There's no seven there. There's no one there. This is the three, four, making that the seven. This is the six. This is the eight. This is the six. This is the seven. This is the eight. And this is the one and the seven. That is amazing. So there's no one, this is a one, two, three without there being a one here. This is the one, this is a two, three pair. Three is down here with, this is one, two, three. One, two, and three are up here. One, two, and three are here. These are a one, two, three triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four, eight, and nine go in here. I can't put nine on this arrow because a nine would make this higher than nine. So there's no nine there. This is a seven, so this is one, two, four, because um, the only way you can make it one, two, three is the minimum. I had to have to increase one of those digits by one to get to seven. I can't increase the one of the two without causing a duplication. So this becomes one, two, four. There's no one there, but the two, four looks up making, or the four looks up making that the three and that the four. One, two, three, four. This is a five. The eight means this isn't an eight. The seven means this isn't a seven. This is either... A six or a nine. There's no six here. This is cool, isn't it? One and two are in those two cells because I can't put them in any of those. Four is in here. What's the minimum I can put on this now? I can't use one, two. I could use three. If I don't use three, this becomes five, six, and this is an 11. There's a three here. Now, it could be three, five, making this eight, or three, oh, it can't be three, five, because there's a five in the column. This is absolutely three, six, and this is the nine taking nine out of there. So this is seven or eight, which means there's a one on that arrow. The one isn't there because of the one looking down. One is here looking back saying, that's not the one. So this is the one. 
can this be one, two, four? Maybe these would be a one, two, four triple. Don't see why that's a problem yet. This one is looking up saying that's not a one. Eight, one, nine. This is an eight. That is a one. That is a nine. That is a nine. That is a four. Okay, running out of stuff. Oh, the nine is looking up, making that a six. So this is a one, two, three triple without that being a one. So one is looking up here. This isn't a one. This is the one. I can't put an eight here anymore because that would need to be a one. That is a four. Four and two would make this six. Four and three would make this seven. It can't be a six because that that's a seven. So that's the three. That's the two. This is so neat. There's no four in those. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no seven there. Or well, the six and the seven actually makes that the five, which makes that the six and that the seven. <laughs> There's a reason I'm happy Sotek has supported the channel as long as he has. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine go into those. There's no nine there. The two comes out of there, so that's the three. So this is not the three. This is a one, two pair. Okay, there still could be a sting in the tail of this. Um, like, really? Seven is down here, but I can't put seven on a three-cell arrow. Seven is in one of those two. Now, could this be one, two, four now? That'd be one or two. Yeah, maybe. Can it be eight? It'd be one, three, four, or one, two, five. Don't know. Seven in this box is right. No, it's easier than I was giving it credit for. That seven is looking down, meaning seven's not in any of those. That's the seven. So this is the eight. This is not a seven arrow. It is one, two, four, or one, three, five. Sorry, one, three, four, or one, two, five. Eight is in one of those two. The eight is taking eight out of there. Is it this? Well, I know what these three digits are. One, two, they're not three, four, five... These are one, two, nine. Those are one, two, nine. So these are three, four, and six. There's no six there. There's no three there. That's the four. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, and nine. So this is a five at the bottom. And this is an eight, nine. But the five here means if this is one, two, five, this is one, two, that's five. And it can't be. I can't put five on this arrow anymore. So this can't be one, two, five. It's one, three, four. There's no one there. There's no four there. Oh, Lordy. So what is that? It's not seven. That's the seven because of the seven looking across, which puts seven into one of those two. But this sees a lot of stuff now. It can't be one. It could be two. It can't be three, four, five. It could be six. It can't be seven, eight, nine. This is only two or six. This cell actually might even be better. It can't be one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, or nine. This is the six. So this is the two, which makes this the four, which takes four out of there, making that the four. This is a one, three pair. The threes are lining up now. So three is in one of those. It's not there because of that three. 
So this arrow, maybe? This is a minimum of three. This is the only arrow I haven't resolved. Now, by Sudoku, that's a seven. So this isn't a seven and that's a seven. Eight is in here. Nine is one of those two. That could be interesting. These are five, eight, and nine, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these are, right. If these are five, eight, and nine, which I can pencil in, there's an eight, nine in this box. That's the five. This is an eight or a nine. The five is looking up saying there's no five there. That's done less than I'd hoped. This is the two because of that four, which means this is a two by Sudoku. This is a known pair, three and four. The three is looking down, making that the four and that the three, which makes that the six and that the three. The six and the six put six in one of those two. This six is looking down saying, that's not the six, this is the six. This is a triple, five, eight, and nine. Well, there's no five there. That gives me an eight, nine pair, making that the five. Which, but there's an eight, nine pair here now. So this is a maximum of six. No, it's a maximum of four. Because five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are from one, two, three, four. But the maximum this could be is four. But the minimum that could be is three. So this is three, one, four. Absolutely forced. The one here makes this the three and this the... That arrow, that arrow, even after all of this stuff up here, this arrow might be my favourite part of the puzzle. The three makes that the two and that the three. The three looks across making that the six and that the three. The one makes that the two and that the one. The two and the one means that's the nine. I can take the nine out of those. The one makes that the two and that the one. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, four and eight go in. The four looks down, making that the eight and that the four. The eight makes that the nine, which makes that the eight, which jumps left, making that the nine and that the eight. <laughs> this is a pair. One, two, three, no, use the right mode, mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The two makes that the five and that the two. So in this box, the five has to be there, doesn't it? Yeah, that has to be the five. So this is the nine, this is the eight. The eight looks up making that the five, which makes that the nine and that the eight. These, these, are, these rows are complete, but I'm gonna do it by box. One, two, three, four, five. These are six and nine. The six makes that the nine, which makes that the six. The nine looks up making that the eight and that the nine. I was expecting, I looked at the times that the testers had sent me and I was expecting this to be closer to a 30 minute puzzle. Oh, well, there's quads on parade puzzles for you to enjoy as well. Cause I believe by the time this is coming out, you should be into the scenic hikes and those are getting a little more tricky. I mean, but this, the geometry on this was great. I don't think, I mean, yeah. Puzzles don't need to use this. I mean, Bremster rants at the end of a video. Welcome to Bremster puzzles. People are st trying to come up. I mean, I'm one of them. I've been coming up with a bunch of new constraints that I cannot make work. Um, so tech knows all about that. But people are insisting on trying to use new constraints and everything because all of the old constraints have been like explored to the point where there's nothing fun in them anymore. I disagree. This puzzle was stunning and it's just, it was only using arrows and yet it was still fascinating. And I was finding stuff that was, that was just incredible. I loved it. I mean, the stuff about these having to be different and then forcing these to be one-off 
the 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 minimum basically so th uh, one three four seven and therefore pushing those up and then how is that going to work with the minimums here not being able to be able to use eights because that would break eight in this box um, and therefore forcing those down and all of the chain of that really fascinating stuff not too complex but really really cool and yeah love it absolutely adore it this is the sort of stuff i really really love in puzzles um yeah good stuff Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, hope you're enjoying Quads on Parade where we try and do similar things. Explore the, the fascinating things that come out of quadruples. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.